Hello YouTube people, let me tell you and show you why this Casio is very beautiful watch, very elegant, slightly playful looking watch. It has uh, one small problem which I'm gonna show you a little bit later on. I wanna compare it to its brother which is all grey. I did a review on its brother watch, <laughs> the link is in the description. That grey watch had mesh style bracelet which is very good. I don't like how it looks like but it, the quality of that bracelet is very good and this one has this bracelet made of square links it looks very good pinches here a little bit not too bad but it sits on the hand very comfortably it has one problem which i will show you later but nothing major really and the main difference between these two watches you know the gray one was a little bit kind of very simple very maybe even boring looking but that's not a bad thing because it was dressy looking digital watch which are uh, kind of rare thing to have a digital watch which could be a dressy watch. So that Casio was fitting that role very well because it was very simple, elegant looking, very serious looking watch. And this one is a little bit more playful with its black screen. Well, not the screen with its black face. It has more playful personality, I could say. It is still look, looking very serious watch. Uh, dressy as well. Also very slim. Fits under a cuff, no problem whatsoever. But it is more casual. It is more towards business casual side. Where its grey brother is more towards dressy look. And speaking about functionality, there is also nothing much to talk about it because it's basically F91W, it just looks very fancy. <laughs> all the menus, everything is all the same. The screen is basically the same also. Very good screen, very legible, very easy to see. And in the opposite of F91W, this one actually has a very good backlight. Very nice amber color as well. And this watch is famous for its slimliness. 5.9 millimeters in thickness. Wow, that's very slim. That's, that's very slim. That's impressive. Because of that, it fits on the hand very nicely. Sits very comfortably. You don't even notice that you wear the watch really. You forget that you have a watch on your hand. And yet it looks impressive. It looks dressy. It looks very pretty. Shiny. <laughs> and speaking about shiny, this is plastic watch. Shiny plastic. And quite honestly, you have to be kind of careful with this watch because it's a scratch magnet, quite honestly. This one I haven't scratched yet, but it's grey brother. When I was doing review, I was wearing that watch for only several days. And even though I haven't did any mechanical work, you know, I haven't been fixing my bicycle or my car wearing that watch. <laughs> but I scratched it up wearing at home for just several days. And I don't even know where those scratches were coming from. <laughs> so it was scratched up in just a few days. So with this one, I'm gonna be a bit more careful and I kind of really don't like that feeling that I have to be careful with my watch, quite honestly. You know, if I scratch, for example, my F91W, it's not a big deal, it's a black plastic. If I scratch my G-Shock, it's a black rubber, I also don't care. But this silver plastic, it doesn't look nice when it's scratched up. Black plastic or rubber, I don't care, it doesn't look bad, scratched up, no, 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 big, no big deal. But silver plastic scratched up, it doesn't look nice and it's very easy to scratch it up. So it's kind of negative, I would say. Yeah, I wish it was metal. And speaking about metal, I already have a metal version of this watch. A1000, I believe it is called. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I already have metal version of this watch, A1000. The review is coming soon on that watch. Pretty awesome watch. And they look very similar. This is half the price of A1000. But I don't know, is it worth paying double the price and getting metal version? I don't know. I will probably answer that in the upcoming review of A1000. This one is alright as well. It looks nice. It's the most important thing for this watch. You know, it's, 
has good brand recognition and it looks nice and it looks dressy and if you want a digital watch which looks dressy you don't really have a lot of choices quite honestly only these little digital casio watches and maybe a few timex watches so as in the beginning of the video i have mentioned you that this watch has one problem the problem is that the case and the bracelet do not come together very nicely the design flows actually very nicely because this bracelet is kind of like continuity of the case itself but the thing is the continuity breaks at the point where the bracelet meets the case and in videos and pictures it doesn't really look that bad but when you put it on your hand and you notice this gap between bracelet and the case i think it could have been done a little bit nicer to say the least isn't really looking very fluid to my eyes i wish there was smaller gap at least or something differently made but uh, it doesn't really come together very nicely that gap that gap i don't like that gap really honestly so that's why i tried another option a bracelet from a casio a1000 and it looks kind of all right and and that mesh bracelet is actually very good quality it feels very good on the hand i have nothing against that bracelet honestly except i just personally don't really like the look of it so i've tried f91 rubber strap <laughs> and quite honestly that black rubber strap works very well with this black face it looks like it belongs there it looks like factory default <laughs> it it works better than the original metal bracelet because there is no gap everything flows very nicely and it fits on the hand as well it doesn't pull hair <laughs> the thing is that the rubber strap doesn't pull hair and this original metal bracelet well it pinches hair from time to time if you're gonna wear this casio with the original bracelet loose your wrist in a week's time is gonna be bald <laughs> quite honestly you're gonna lose your hair off your wrist and do i recommend this watch uh yes i guess uh you know that gray watch the gray brother of this watch has better bracelet it doesn't pinch here so i would say you should consider buying that gray option but if you don't like that gray option this one is amazing watch as well seriously if you have small problems with this bracelet not coming nicely with the case and pinching the hair but overall it's a pretty good watch no biggies no big problems with this watch seriously and another thing casio watches from my experience have very good liquidity so if you aren't gonna like it you're gonna sell it pretty easily to your friend or to your neighbor it doesn't matter everyone likes casio come on it's easy to sell one so it's no big risk buying this watch come on it's overall it's 35 euros so you're gonna sell it for if you don't like it you sell it next day for 30 euros and come on it's not a big problem <laughs> so i would say it's a risk worth taking you may probably gonna like this watch quite a lot so yeah i would recommend it so that's it thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye